Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two circles of different dimensions. The red circle with the center A and the blue circle with the center P are tangent to each other. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, these points uh, B, D and uh, E are the points of uh, tangency. And as a result, we get this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, A, B, C. And moreover, this angle BAC is 60 degrees. And furthermore, the area of this yellow shaded triangle has been given to us as 18 times square root of 3 square units. And now our task is to calculate the radius of this red circle and the radius of this blue circle as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I am going to label uh, the radius of this uh, big uh, red uh, circle as uppercase R. And the radius uh, of this uh, smaller blue circle as uh, lowercase R. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of uppercase R and the value of lowercase r as well. And now let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded triangle ABC. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees, as you can see in this given diagram. Here we can see this is our radius and this is our tangent. So no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degree angle. So therefore we can see that this angle uh, ABC has got to be a 90 degree angle since this is our radius and this is our tangent line. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore in this uh, yellow shaded triangle ABC, if this angle is 60 degrees, uh, this angle is 90 degrees. Uh, then this uh, tiny angle uh, BCA has got to be 30 degrees. So therefore our this tiny angle is 30 degrees. And now let's focus once again on this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that this uh, AB is the radius uh, of this uh, red larger circle. So therefore I'm going to label that one as uppercase R. And now let's recall this famous uh, trigonometric ratio sine of theta is always equal to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse. And for this uh, 30 degree angle, this side uh, is going to be our opposite side. And this uh, largest uh, leg uh, AC is going to be our hypotenuse. So therefore we can write uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees is going to be equal to our opposite side is uppercase R divided by our hypotenuse is AC length. And now we know that sine of 30 degrees is 1 divided by 2. So therefore this sine of 30 degrees is going to be simply 1 divided by 2. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore we can see that 1 times AC is going to be AC equals to 2 times our uppercase R radius. So thus our this hypotenuse uh, AC, this whole length uh, is equal to 2 times uh, uppercase R. And we are going to focus on this uh, yellow shaded triangle ABC once again. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. Bear in mind that the centers uh, and the point of uh, tangency are collinear. So no wonder these points uh, A, E and this center P are collinear. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle C. As you can see in this uh, triangle, A and B are our side lengths and C is the angle in between. And here we can see for this triangle uh, ABC, this side uh, is uh, uppercase R, whereas this uh, other side is uh, 2 times uppercase R. And the angle between them is uh, 60 degrees. 
and furthermore uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle has been given to us 18 times uh, square root of 3 square units so we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula area of this triangle is uh, 18 times uh, square root of 3 equals to 1 divided by 2 times our one side is uh, uppercase r the other side is uh, 2 times uppercase r times sine of uh, our angle uh, 60 degrees and now we know that uh, sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore i am going to replace this uh, sine of 60 degrees uh, with the square root of 3 divided by 2 over here and furthermore uh, this 2 and 1 divided by 2 cancel each other out and this uh, r times r is going to give us uh, r square and now we can see the square root of 3 and this square root of 3 they cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with the 18 equals to r square divided by 2 and now i am going to multiply by 2 on both sides to remove this fraction and here we can see 2 and 2 is gone so therefore r square turns out to be 36 and now i am going to undo this square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore we can see this square and square root undo each other so therefore our radius uppercase r turns out to be 6 uh, units so thus our uh, red circle uh, radius uh, turns out to be 6 uh, units and now we are going to calculate uh, the value of this uh, radius lowercase r and here in this uh, next step i have connected this center p with this uh, point of tangency d and we can see that this angle has got to be 90 degrees since this is our radius uh, and this is our tangent line and I'm going to label uh, this uh, PD radius as uh, lowercase r. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, tiny right triangle PDC. And now let's recall this uh, trigonometric ratio once again. Sine of theta is always equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. And we can see for this uh, tiny angle 30 degrees, uh, this side is our opposite. Uh, and this uh, PC is our hypotenuse. So therefore I can write uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees uh, is going to be equal to our opposite side is uh, lowercase r divided by our hypotenuse is uh, pc length. And now we can see sine of 30 degrees once again equals to 1 divided by 2. So therefore I am going to replace this sine of 30 degrees with 1 divided by 2 over here. And now we are going to cross multiply so therefore we can see that our pc length uh, turns out to be two times lowercase r so we can see that this uh, whole pc length is uh, two times lowercase r and we can see that this uh, tiny radius uh, pf is uh, lowercase r so therefore uh, this uh, fc length is going to become uh, lowercase r as well and furthermore uh, this uh, ep length is uh, radius lowercase r and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, ae length uh, is our uh, radius uh, uppercase r and we can see that this uh, whole uh, length uh, ac is uh, two times r so therefore we conclude that this uh, ec length uh, has got to be uppercase r so therefore we can write down this uh, ec length uh, equals to uppercase r and furthermore uh, this uh, ec length uh, is going to be lowercase r plus lowercase r plus lowercase r that is going to give us uh, three times lowercase r so therefore we can also write this uh, ec length uh, equals to three times uh, lowercase r and now we are going to compare these two equations and since both of them are equal to ec so therefore i can equate uppercase r equals to three times lowercase r so therefore i can write uh, three times lowercase r equal to uppercase r and we know our uppercase r value is six and i'm going to substitute that value over here 
let's divide both sides by 3 to isolate lowercase r so therefore our lowercase r radius uh, turns out to be 2 units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the radius of this uh, red circle turns out to be 6 units whereas the radius of this uh, small blue circle turns out to be 2 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye